what is up guys welcome back to an all new video today I'm gonna be working on my trailer for my lawnmower so right now I'm setting up my workbench which consists of two sawhorses and a piece of plywood that I still haven't built anything with Now I'm unclamping the wheel that I glued up last night and it seems to roll okay. Now I'm trying to get some bearings out of my one last tire that my mom didn't throw away. This one's jammed. Now I'm drilling a hole through the center, and yes, I know I could have clamped it, but it's more fun this way. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm boring out an area for the bearing to fit. Now I'm gonna try chiseling out the inside, see how well that works. Now I'm fastening the bearing down with some screws. Probably going a little overkill with the screws, so you don't have to. Oh. Now I'm drilling out the holes to mount the studs onto my trailer. I'm going to use pocket screws to hold it together for now until I can get the regular screws put in later. Now I'm just screwing down the studs. Also, I'm not going to bother gluing these down because I might need to move them later if I'm going to use bigger tires. Something else you could do is also drive in screws from the end, which is what I'm going to do right now. I 
I'm going to be using these fancy deck screws, uh, except they have a weird ass uh, star head thing on the top instead of the square thing. I would have got the square screws except I couldn't find those, but luckily it comes with a bit. Now I'm driving in the screws from the top. Now I'm drilling out the holes for the axle on a piece of 2x4. Excuse me while I go get my safety gear. Now I'm just cutting down the piece of 2x4 to size. So now comes the glue up. Wow, this didn't get stuck shut like the Elmer's glue. This is not a paid product endorsement or anything. <laughs> I think I'll do one at a time. I wonder if Titebond sponsors any, like, YouTube woodworkers. Okay, there we go. Got one down. Three to go. We'll just squeeze out. Uh, let's do a smiley face again. <laughs> Looks pretty... bleh. Yeah, so I realized that my other wood glue is actually indoor wood glue, and Type Bond is indoor outdoor. So Type Bond 3 is indoor outdoor, and it's waterproof, so yeah, it's more better. not sure if I want to take this out and screw it right now or if I want to do it once it sets. But I think I'm going to do it once it sets. And I'm not gluing the bottom part quite yet. I wonder if I have enough clamps. <laughs> okay, so now everything seems to have dried up. It's, it's an hour later or so. Maybe not all the way dried up, but enough to move on with the project. I did move these off of the like their positioning. Um, because it looked like they were going to try to stick down because the glue was ripping, but anyway, it also had them in the wrong position, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the clamps off and drive some screws in. So, yeah. So, two and a half inch screws will like hold them together. Nicely. So now we'll just put these on. I'm also going to apply glue here. Be kind of sparing uh, so that it doesn't like seal down. Okay. Oh, this is intense. Okay, that's on there. Pretty sturdy. Okay, guys, so like a while later, I got the axle on. Now I just have to make another wheel.
now I'm going to cut out the wheel on the bandsaw. Well, I just had the blade come off of my bandsaw, and it, on further inspection, it, it's broken. Like, broken. It's broken. My safety goggles disappeared. Now just cutting out the other wheel. And I'm stuck cutting it with a coping saw. And now we gotta glue the two pieces together. Now with both wheels installed, the trailer moves freely. Now I'm cutting out a slot so that I can mount the hitch. I should have done this before I put it together, but it's too late now. Now I'm drilling out the hole for the hitch. And now I'm cutting out the slot. I found an extension for my uh, drill thing with Jake, so I'm gonna try to drill in the drive in the screws with the drill. <laughs> Okay, there that's in a little more solidly now. More Now I'm just cutting up the siding. Yeah, so that's about it until I can get some hardware from the hardware store because I had to make these improv hinges. And I need to get a latch that'll latch this up so that it doesn't come out when you're driving it around.